In a mixing bowl, add two pounds of ground beef and one large onion, very finely diced. To this, add one egg and mix with a fork to combine. Be careful not to over mix. To make the patties, you're gonna to wanna to grab a ball of meat the size of your palm, hold it in between your fingers and thumb and press down like this. You can see when we flip it over, it's going to be the same thickness. It makes about 10 patties. In a skillet, heat up two tablespoons of butter and start adding your patties. You're gonna to wanna to cook on one side on medium heat for 10 minutes and then flip over and heat for another five minutes. After it's done, remove the meat, leaving all the drippings for the gravy. If you're on a low carb diet, you can stop here. The meat is delicious as it is. To make the gravy, add one tablespoon of butter. While this is melting, scrape the drippings off of the pan. Buckwheat flour is gluten free and it works well for thickening gravies. We're working with it today. Go ahead and pour in two tablespoons of 100% buckwheat flour. Mix it all up and push it around into the center so it can cook evenly. You're gonna wanna put it in the center and let it cook for just a few minutes. It'll start bubbling up. This is how you want it to look right here. And just stir it around a little bit. Okay, now you're gonna add either two tablespoons of cream or two tablespoons of milk. You're gonna wanna stir it, just let it cook just a little bit, and then right away you're gonna add in one cup of water. You're gonna wanna add salt and pepper to taste at this point. Wait for a while for the gravy mixture to start to boil. And you're gonna to wanna to stir it frequently so that nothing clumps up and it doesn't stick to the pan. This is what it ends up looking like after a few minutes. Okay, here it is, it's all done. It's nice and thick and it complements the meat very well. Just like traditional gravy, if you let this sit for a little while, it's gonna thicken up even more. So don't cook it too long. The meat is so tender and delicious right now, and the gravy just adds so much flavor. I love making this recipe because I don't have to make separate meals for me and my husband. We both can enjoy this. I can eat just the plain meat on my diet, and he can eat the meat with the gravy because he's gluten free. This dish also freezes very well. You can double or triple the recipe to have pre-made meals in your freezer. Just thaw, heat, and serve. I hope you get a chance to try this. It's really delicious.